Hi, John here. Uh, today it's uh, Sunday, the 17th of September 2017. <coughs> Danny's just left here, and we had a little good little talk. And uh, he uh, gave me the, uh, the um, event that happened up in Titi Marae, outside on the field, uh, with the guns going off on the beach. Um, those guns that uh, was meant for the uh, thunder and uh, lightning up at the Hapua. Uh, it's not for the uh, um, Admiralty. This was a spiritual um, um, uh, occasion up at um, Spirits Bay or Te Hapua up there to bring uh, that uh, mana back to uh, Waitangi, to Titi Marae. <clears throat> but that's all changed at Titi Marae um, since we had uh, got locked out of there. And so that, that's gone past now. We've gone past that out on the outside uh, and never got into Marae. But it's too late because I'm send it, sending all this um, uh, and these videos to Westminster <coughs> Magistrate Court and to Edinburgh Magistrate Court and High Court of Admirals in London. It's going straight there. Uh, now that I've got that to complete uh, its story, we got our 21 gun salute from the Navy ship uh, on the 6th of February 2017 and signed uh, the, uh, with the Paramount Chiefs inside the uh, Titi Marae uh, Native Magistrate Grand Jury Court hearing that we had. It's on video. Everything we do is on video, including this occasion <coughs> to bring that um, wairua down from Te Hapua down to Titi Marae and um, as far as we're concerned we're on the land there and the event is over. There is no need to go into it anymore and Danny is very good to keep uh, an academic mind, open mind on uh, the history of the Waitaha to bring it up from the South Island and join it up to the North Island because it's predominantly Pākehā down there and not that many Māori, so he's done the honours to bring that through and I acknowledge that um, with one-on-one uh, -on -one talk is different to talking amongst everybody else. If I'm talking one-on-one -on -one to someone, I get it and write it up that way. So uh, thank you, Danny. And for the uh, clip, I'll just put, put it on shortly so I can, you can see and uh, just ring Bundy up and tell him the good news. <coughs> um, my phone? I'll ring him up and tell him I've got them now. Thanks to Danny. He's kept his word. I've got more confidence when um, that happens. I think that's his number. Bundy. Wait a Hello. Is that you, Bunny? No, you got the wrong man. Oh, sorry, I put the push the wrong button. <laughs> sorry, Danny. I'll just. Hey, uh, uh, okay. Good job. Give me a call. Bye. Oh hell. I got the wrong one. Oh, I pushed the top one. <coughs> Danny's on his way home. Thank you, Danny, for bringing the... My name is Bundy Waitai Kiora. <clears throat> I'll put that on soon. I'll put the video on so you can see phone, it. Then hang up or press the hash key. I'll show a bit of it. Yeah, hi, Bundy. I've got the videos now from Danny. He's just left home here. He just popped in, gave it to me, and then had a couple of minutes, and then took off. Um, he just said to me if I wanted to go up, I could go up with him to that hui. I, um, I'll see what, how things are, but um, I'll just keep going because I, I've got a lot to do on these documents. I need to get it done um, and I'm getting through it. 
uh, should be finished uh, tomorrow. I want to send a notice out by tomorrow or the next day at the latest. That's 10 days notice now. It's, it was 14 days. Now it's 10 days. Uh, that's okay. It's defaulted anyway. Okay, bye. <coughs> so that's <coughs> Bundy. Uh, he might ring back. I'll put my little gadget away. That's my hug. Okay, I'll get this video open and I'll show you. Show, I'll turn it on. I'll turn it on after I'll show you a bit. But I'll, yeah, I'll explain it afterwards because I'll just show you a bit of it. Oh, it's, it's crooked. I, I've got to turn around after. That's about 7 o'clock in the morning. And so I'll show the other one, the big gun. There's 21 shots all together. But those shots were for uh, Te Hapua to bring the Wairua down to uh, Auckland. Um, oh, this one here. Oh, I've got to straighten it out and cut it straight. There it goes. It's as loud as it gets. the old musket with the powder in it. It'll load the powder up. So that's that. That that was earlier. I just oh, that's a short, short up video. Okay, so there. That gives you a little bit of of uh, what happened on the twelfth of uh, September two thousand seventeen at uh, Titi Marae. We were locked out, and that's really bad. Uh, and it's gone past that stage now. There's no no turning back. We can't go back and reinvent it again. So we're moving on straight to uh, Westminster with this now and leave the Marae right out of it. It's right out of it now. It can't come into this now because they've locked it out and the Wairua has gone straight onto the land outside on the road and the sea of Admiralty right on the beach and uh, appropriate to our... Um, finalising the um, um, visit up to Te Hapua. Um, I didn't go, but that's uh, that's um, on record now, and it's on record with me and uh, the Moai Crown, the King William IV Trust, and our flag here uh, on this side of the equation. I'm going to Britain and to live. I'm going there as an ambassador for this country and for 250 other countries where the flag's going. We set this up long ago. We set it up right back in 2008 with uh, Moi Manukau and uh, the beginning of the Lisbon Treaty. I've, I've documented all the way through the years and no one else has that. They haven't kept track of the uh, history of Moriori and the British. They, they have got the overriding title uh, of uh, this country and uh, in commerce, commercial contracts and no one else has contracts with the King except this Moriori. Uh, Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manaka from Mangatauturi Mountain, that's his pa down there and his, his um, um, lands. Um, so I'll be going down there one day. But uh, I, I must say this that this whakapapa that I've got of Mohi Manakao and our family is joined together at the hip, Wainos and, and the Manakaos, on this title with the Rogans and with our own coast, coast groves straight to Belfast and St. Patrick's uh, buried there with that title of the Eight Point Star of this hat here. That's my title, right to my ancestors, the Rogans and the Rogan judges in Awaroa Native uh, Court in Helensville, Awaroa uh, Magistrate Court Bank. That's where the bank started with Mohi Manikau here, the Freemason. You see, you see him with the Freemason? Don't go near them. Because you'll get chopped up if you go near them. They're the ones that own these documents, all these documents that I write all over. I write all over them and I write all over the King's documents because someone's saying it's okay. And I just am speaking for the King of Commerce in the whole world where the King conquered all the lands, including America. Now, um, um, 
uh, as far as I'm concerned, <coughs> this is commercial business. It's just business. The, the, the hearing we're having in Auckland is business. It is a full-on Paramount Chief Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. They're supposed to be a, a, a native officer, the um, British or the New Zealand judge. There should be a judge, one for native and one for uh, the colonial people, colonial settlers. They haven't even settled yet. They haven't even, they haven't even bought the place yet because they're still trying to settle with their own Maori in the mirror. They're looking at themselves. That Maori land court, Maori word, Maori iwi word, iwi Maori crown, it's a crown. They, they've invented it. So it can't stack up to this and the Moai crown. It can't. It can't claim that Tronky is wearing this. He has to turn up in that court with a writ warrant on his head and a hanging rope because that's what I'm doing with this and the King. It's vicious because we're using the, the, the King William III laws and the bank laws. He created the Bank of England, King William III, the Dutchman, and he created the bank notes, the pound notes, that's what we're using online. And he created this eight point star of municipalities to collect all the rent, ground rent, and all the prized possessions that he's picked up, conquered lands, and lease lands, and rates, and debts. We are the creditor. We are the creditor, John Key. You're wearing one of these. Who gave you authority to wear that over our king? Hmm? They're not even in the bloodline of this in a contract with the chiefs. These paramount chiefs are the right surnames with Selwyn Clark. Selwyn Clark and the registration of the land titles. That's his British immigrant title as captain of the ship on that treaty ground in Whitehall. We're going to seize it because it's his ship that you're playing around with, John Key. We're going to Audit all the books here, audit New Zealand government, audit the treasury here, New Zealand treasury, audit the British HM treasury. We, we're going to do that because we are the contract partner without a king there. I'm speaking for the king. Okay. I have the right as a contract partner to speak for the king when he's not there until we put a king back in. And that's Ernest Augustus, the king of Britain, UK, Hanover. Now, no one's going to take his place. He's alive, and his son is alive, very much alive, at 33 years old. That's our oath of office. I'm going to England to put him into Westminster to shut down all the fraud and corruption that you've corrupted our flag and our kings with your King George VI rats, rats and dogs, and the Rothschilds. Cabell, cheaters, liars, and murderers. Up you go. The British Navy, I'm right the pound note right over the top of you, 970 million trillion trillion pound notes, you've got that on top of you. All you elite people on the 30% side with the Queen, you've all got that note on your head. And the 70% on this side of the King is coming after you. They're going to do it. They're going to do it. I'm just going write, to write the pound note on Cook Street. I'm going to write the pound note over this country. There's already a bill on you, John Key. This notice is to you today. Danny just bought me the 21 guns that went off for the spiritual side of our title, the Whakaminia, and the upper house, the spiritual upper house, with the political upper house. And that's the government's business with uh, Bundy and his Maori government, call it what you want. But the Maori government is on this side. It has to handle this side. And you thugs, I'm calling you pirates. All of you, in Australia, in Canada, in America, in, in Britain, all pirates on this side and 30% of the families that are raking this side. This side is going to whip it all off you back into the King's Bench Native Grand Jury Court. Okay? And that's how commercial contracts work. We have a contract on your head. We are the contract creditors. Uh, I just want to say that um, my business will be taken over, so I won't be speaking anymore online. Uh, she will look after it and I will stay in the background and look after the tidal turbines for Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Limited London. I'm going to get that going in Scotland so I'm expecting the uh, Freemasons uh, in Edinburgh 
and the uh, Scottish rights and also the um, um, Scotland itself and Ireland, um, Northern Ireland, uh, uh, the Protestants there, it's my family in Belfast uh, with the Eight Point Star, uh, St. Patrick and Inheritance and the Caribbean Islands, those are Dutch, that's our partner. All of that wealth I'm writing the note up against for clawing it back into the King's Bench Court and all his wealth that's our partner. Our partner, this flag, pulled all that commerce together. And anyone can come to the Hui uh, uh, court hearing in, in Auckland and uh, tell them the Waka Marae. If you've got any title better than this, you better turn up with it. And all you people are Qs on Facebook and YouTube, in the government here, and anywhere in the world, if you've got a title better than this, Moriori, Manukau title, to Britain, Westminster, Magistrate Court and Edinburgh Magistrate Court, you better come up to that meeting and refute it. Or there's 10 days, it'll be gone by Tuesday, out online to those people like kids. <coughs> but it's public, because if I can't find your address, it's public. You have to turn up. The people are, 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 are accused, even the landowners on Cook Street, you have to turn up. If you don't turn up to that court hearing, guess what? It's a default again and again and again. You've been notified in writing, it's been given to you, and the same will happen again. You'll get it from the Paramount Chiefs. They will, they will give you the notice, and they're the owners. They're the legal, legitimate, commercial landowners of this country. And that's all there is. You're not going to buy it out. You can't step over Ngāpui because they were the last with your stupid little less than 1% settlement. For whose land you're settling? No, we're going for over 100% from you to claw all back. They're going to jump on this side, and all those people on this side can stay there. All those people that locked that marae, you, you can stay right there because I'm crossing you all out. I'm crossing you all out because you stop me from going in that marae. I have a right to be in that marae, always. I have a right. I've been trying to help your people, and you think you're clever? You go your own way and see how clever you are. You're going to stay right there. I'm not going to help you. You're not going to get anything out of this lot. You're not getting anything from this lot. To hell with you. To hell with you, Hummer. You can you can you can have that for like run your run your racket inside your 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 team. I never listen to what I say. It just goes in one ear and out the other. Well, you can stay there. You're not coming this way. I'm going to stop you from coming on this side now. Okay, you're going to beg like hell to get it like hell. You can stay there because you're clever. That's why. You bastards are clever. More clever than this one. That saved this country. And you're sitting on what this man here saved and he's too good. Saved. Okay, you can, you can, you, you can fuck up up all you like. But it's not going to stop the new world order. This is the new world order. This is the new world order. We are the new world order. We are the crown. Now, who are you? Who the fuck are you, bastards? In that marae, in Titi marae, the ground is going to shift from underneath you. You won't have a bloody marae, you'll be bulldozed over. That's all it's worth. Nothing. I've got plans for them. I gave them to Peter Apiero. And you fellas had better plans. You had your plans too. But nothing happens. You know why? Because you haven't got a fucking title. You don't have the title. It's over here. The Utatonga title is over here. The British put it on there. The British will take it away. Because why? I'm acting for the British in the absence of the king. You got that in your thick heads? You can stay there and cry because that's what it's called, Waitangi. Cry baby. And moan and groan and settle for 1%, less than 1%. That's all you're going to get. You, you're settled. All your treaty claims from that obelisk on that, you caused all the 1% less. For all the settlements, all those Nato and, and Nato Pro, they've been settled. Oh, not Nato Pro, Tainui. You see, they got the money because they made a deal with the Queen. And Napui won't have a bar of it. They won't have a bar of it, not even Nato Pro. Soon the chorus stop all that bloody long. She can run the government, she can run them off the land. She's going to run them off the land at bottom point, off my land, off my own pass. Huh? You bastards, put your. Dug, dug, dug the uh, uh, two pointers out and stuck a bloody airport right on top of, of the motel, right on top of my two pointers. 
That's right on point. Put the, they can't bowl or blow anything over because it's full of bora. It's full of bora, I know. It's sitting on my land, mate. You buggers are going to go off. Lou Colossen, you buggers, they're going to chase you buggers off. Brian, Brian Wood, you got, you, your ass is going off that land, mate. I told you, I warned you fellas. Do you think I'm a fucking joke? That. I'll get you off there because you've been on it too long and you only look after your own fucking trusts. Your trust and a tumma tumma power, I'm going to put you fucking lot out. I'm going to put you out because i got power around cheese behind me now. I, 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 would, I would have done it, but your policemen lost the case against me. The judges couldn't do a thing. Huckle, because you haven't got a queen. No seal, no nothing, just thin air. You can go back, jump in the sea and fuck off. I don't want to say that I mean it. Might be the last time I'll be on a video talking because i got business to run. i got business to run. And my new manager will take over and she'll follow what I say. Okay, I won't be here, but she'll follow what I say. I'm going to England and sort that lot out. And America and sort that lot out. And Canada and sort that lot out. And Australia. Sort them out. Boot whoever out. Because I'm going back to the native land owners. The ones they fucking killed. The king was there for the people. It was the queen and her fucking elite people that robbed them and killed them off their land. The same in Papua New Guinea. The Indonesians under contract are going to kill the Indonesians off their bloody land. Well, we're going there with this flag and that's to boot them off with the British military. The British military is coming on the land blocks at rang to you on the half ho land block right along the beach to fix it up because you haven't got the fucking money to do it. Your government here steals it for themselves. All the money they make for the, and lift the place to ruins. Chop the big trees down, took the money and then lift the whole place to the mess. You're going to pay for that. I'm going to force you to pay for that because Bundy's got to make the bloody bill up. I'm just going to write the power note down. Whatever he says, goes. <clears throat> Whatever money, money he says, goes. He's, he's the lawmaker and Bundy's the force. He forces the law and drafts all the parliament of upper house. X. He can do what he likes, but I'll give him a guide for it to follow a plan. We've got the plans and everything is sitting right here in this house. We're going to set it up in Auckland when we boot those owners and lock them up. James Pierce Brown, Sam Brent, Grand Street, on Cook Street, this is your last time. Turn up to that court this time on the 29th of September 2017 at Te Unga at 1 Clyde Street, the corner of Manukau Road in Epsom. And you must turn up there 12 noon to 2 o'clock because if you're not there, the police are going to move in and take that property off you and you're going to get locked up for a long, long time because I'll put the date on how long you stay in there. I'll put the date on it and Bundy will force the issue because he's the landowner. He is the commercial landowner and so is Money. But most of all, Selwyn Clark. He is the British immigrants for all you bloody immigrants. You bloody crooked bastards. He's going to sort you bloody lot out. While he's 90 years old and he's got all these marbles working properly, he's going to have his day in court. What he says goes. What he says goes. Hiroini Kalaka. He's the topmost. He's got the British papers. I'm holding the British papers. The Freemasons papers. The land title papers. He's the one that's come with them from a up here from, from England with his ancestors to settle on the land legally. He's legally there. Now, you have to tell me your title, who you got it off, there's no Manukau name on it. Te Re Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau's name is not on it. And that's what I tried to tell you to put on that title on Cook Street before you two bastards got it. James Pierce Brown and son Brent Browntree you got a trillion, a trillion on your head. Every day you stop me from going in there to take it over. I was coming in to take it over, but I had dancer people to do the job. I put them on contract. They just had no fucking idea. I won't hire anybody who got no idea about law anymore. Right? They're using the Hawaiian 
jurisdiction. You can't use Hawaiian jurisdiction here. It just won't work. The British won't let you. And that Indian fellow, Naidu, this is a message for you, mate. You better take your fucking bags out of here and go, because there's a writ warrant on your fucking head for a threat on this flag. A threat. Using the 1840 treaty and the 1835, it's legislated out. You can't go and pluck it and make it work, because it's illegal, you stupid man. You only want the money out of it. That's all you want. And you were hoarding those tiny and, and the Hodaki people. You're just as fucking dumb. You can stay there. You're not going to get any of this. I'm not going to give you any. Because I want to see you fellas crash in the middle of it when these guys turn up. These guys and the British turns up. And kick your fucking ass. Right out. That's, that's the trouble with you bloody Maoris. You think you know everything about titles and about who is going to take this fucking country over next. The New World Order. And we are the New World Order. Don't stand on the road because you'll get a fucking pound note on your head. I mean it. You fellas have <coughs> drawn people towards you thinking that you're real. You're not real. You don't know the law. You don't know construction law. And that lawyer, that, that judge the uh, High Court judge, and, and he's not, he's been, looks like he's been booted out of America. Don't fucking believe him. Don't fucking believe him. And his Bible. He's got a Bible in one hand and treaty on the other side. The treaty is no fucking good. It's not worth it. The gate was shut on us with those stupid Maoris running that marae. Got no fucking idea. They sent their people there to learn how to run a marae in Auckland. Who the hell's teaching them how to run a marae? I'll take you, I'll show you how to run a marae. I'll come in there and show you how to do it, because I've been doing it all the time, how to run it properly. You folks wouldn't have a bloody clue, gone right off the subject, because you've got Pākehā in your head. Carla, you weren't there at this, uh, this uh, hui I advertised on, 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 on uh, at, at Te Marae, and you weren't there at, at, uh, at uh, Waitaha. You weren't there. So, as far as I'm concerned, you don't feature in any of what we claim back with this flag. And anybody using the flag for the wrong reason, you'll get fucking axed with this lot. Because your government in Wellington legislated it out. And Georgie John will take care of that. And the upper house. I, I, I know all that stuff. Danny knows all that stuff. So Danny <coughs> has a fair idea. We've been together in this long journey for bloody years. More than a lot of the people I see there. There's not many, many of them know what to do except um, Colt. Gregory, he's one that knows everything. So, but he keeps to himself. He he knows how to, to do things. There are a few others, but they're not in the law. They don't follow the law. Carla, you're a long shot off because I've got the title to that place. I know who's on there and who's not supposed to be there. I'm taking the whole fucking lot. Okay, I'm telling you, I'm taking the whole fucking land because if no one turns up in that marae in Auckland, I'm making this public. The public can turn up. If you don't turn up with a better title than theirs, then you had nothing. The British know who's got the title. If you haven't got something to refute what I'm saying, it takes over all the lands. So I'm just warning you people on this video, I'm citing this video for evidence in the Westminster Magistrate Court, Edinburgh Magistrate Court, and the High Court of Admiralty in London, Chancery, and Judiciary, Judic Judicature, Acts of the Highest Court Judiciary in Britain and the High Court Judge that I'm making a statement here that King Ernest Augustus V is the legitimate and legal King of Britain, UK, Hanover. And that's all I'm saying we are swearing our oath of office to keep this flag going because that's his bloodline straight to King William III, the Bank of England and the Bound Note. There. Now, no one's going to get in the way of that and this. That's his title. We're going to put him into Westminster whether you like it or not. He is already the incumbent King of Britain, UK, Hanover. William and George is not the bloodlines with the inheritance of the Dutchman. The Dutchman in Netherlands 
and the World Court. That's our court. We don't have to go there. We just go to the Magistrate Court and write the bill. That's it. I'm writing the bill note against all your properties. There's nothing you can do about it but step into the court, the Magistrate Court in Auckland. From there after, we're setting up the Magistrate Court in Cornwall Park. The upper house and the Whakaminia will go down to Kohimara or look out for property there and they'll go straight in there because that's where it went. And I know I've got all that history here to put them in the right places. And Cornwall Park is where Mohi Manukau's Tupanas are up on top of the hill, the Moriori's. That's their title and covered it giant. I've got the plaque here to go back up there but <coughs> he wanted his Tupanas put back there because he was there before covered it giant. Te Rawakato was there from Mangatoti Mountain in Cambridge to Cambridge, England, where Te Rawakato went to learn English. He went to Cambridge and then to Edinburgh to sign the documents to transfer the title to the King before somebody else got it or the British would have taken it over and we would have had nothing. We would have had nothing if this, if this change didn't do it. No one, no one knew how to do it. Okay? You had to have the brains, and the Manukau had the brains, and the Wano had the brains as well. They went for the Wanoes, married the Wanoes, and the Manukau's, and that's the end of that. That's why they got Whakawhitira on our land blocks down there, at Tiki Tiki, the St. Mary's Church, the first church in the world with the first death and marriage certificate on these commercial trading bank documents, fashioned by Freemason Scottish in Edinburgh, next to Edinburgh. Magistrate court there. The man with his suitcase is the court. The man walking around is the court. And we don't need a bar or a dock because we are the highest court there is in the land on Waitangi, out on the road. Not on that. We're going to bulldoze the whole place down. Kingi, Toto, we're going to bulldoze the whole place down. Kick the bloody lot out because they wouldn't have a clue. They haven't got title. They don't have the title. They don't have the interest on the title there. I've got it here. It was given to me. All those Confederation Whakameninga people gave it to me to keep for them because they trust I will give it back to the right people. Not the bodgy Maori with the bodgy names. Paraoni, Brown, Wikidefi, Whitcliffe, Harawira, Hatfield. You see? Fucked up. The whole Whakapapa. As if you own the fucking name and you'll trust. No, you're gone. You're going to get a big bill on your way out before we boot you. All the whole fucking lot of your parliament in Wellington is fraud. Corrupted bastards. Your last days are near. Okay, that's what I'm saying on this video. But I don't have to talk about that because I get out of it and go and play with the turbines. I'll go and be a mechanic again. And watch my heart. I'll watch this. Put this on. Put this little gadget on. This little Chinese gadget. And watch myself. Huh? I look after myself. And let young people run this business because it's all set up for them to go home next Tuesday. And my friend Jamie can give a hand as well. She can learn from uh, Cecile. It's just a straight business. The Hui in Auckland, a court hearing is straight business. Don't come there talking about Whakapapa or anything else. You either come with a title or a, a refute the, the title. If you haven't got something better than this, what I've got in all those books I'll take, then you had nothing. There's no use chipping a bit off, you have to take the whole world. This is the whole world. This is the whole world. Not just up the road in Napoli. It's gone further than that. This flag has gone right around the world. And we've got it all online. And I'm going to run it from Britain in the safety of the military. Contract all the militaries in the world, pay them to look after our business. Okay, that's all. i better go now and get on with it. See you later. Have a nice day. Bye.